Welcome everyone from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings. From a letter of St. Maximilian Mary Colby, priest and martyr. Apostolic zeal for the salvation and sanctification of souls. The burning zeal for God's glory that motivates you fills my heart with joy. It is sad for us to see in our own time that indifferentism in its many forms is spreading like an epidemic not only among the laity but also among religious. But God is worthy of glory beyond measure and therefore it is of absolute and supreme importance to seek that glory with all the power of our feeble resources. Since we are mere creatures, we can never return to Him all that is His due. The most resplendent manifestation of God's glory is the salvation of souls, whom Christ redeemed by shedding his blood. To work for the salvation and sanctification of as many souls as possible Therefore, is the preeminent purpose of the apostolic life. Let me then say a few words that may show the way toward achieving God's glory and the sanctification of many souls. Obedience is the one and the only way of wisdom and prudence for us to offer glory to God. We will learn this lesson more quickly through the Immaculate Virgin, whom God has made the dispenser of his mercy. It is beyond all doubt that Mary's will represents to us the will of God himself. By dedicating ourselves to her, we become in her hands instruments of God's mercy 
even as she was such an instrument in God's hands. We should let ourselves be guided and led by Mary and rest quiet and secure in her hands. She will watch out for us, provide for us, answer our needs of body and spirit. She will dissolve all our difficulties and worries. From the desert, with Desert Faith, this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively, each and every syllable, word, and sentence, all. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.